And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are waiting the fighters for our first fight of the night. Uh, it will be a fight in uh, 55 kilogram division by the rule set of KW, you full contact. Let's welcome the referee for the fight, Mr. Peter Martinov. And the first fighter in the ring is Elena Gogin from uh, Spain. She is 39 years old, K1 Infusion Elena Talent Champion in 2018, K1 Spanish, professional champion in the same year, K1 MSL title champion in 2021. This is her Senshi debut. She is very experienced fighter. And there is her opponent, Montana Arts. If this uh, family name sounds familiar, of course, this is the daughter of Peter Arts. And, and now, while, while she entered the ring, I'm welcoming here in my commentary booth, none other but Mr. Albert the Hurricane Kraus. Hi. Everything okay? Everything is okay. Okay, I'm excited. This is not your first time here in our commentary booth. And with your experience all around the world, tell us what you think about this organization, Senshi. Yeah, you see it, it's every time uh, better and better. Uh, it will, be, will, will it is already a big, uh, uh, how I said, uh, a big organization, but it will be grow every, uh, every n new s uh, session again. So it's really good. This is only the 14th event, so, but uh, I think that we see the right way to do the things. We see uh, 26 fighters representing 17 different countries. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. It's really good, great. Really good for the sport. And for the, for the first fight, we have uh, Elena Gogin and Montana Arts. Uh, Elena Gogin, of course, this is her Senshi debut, but... Uh, uh, last event we see what, uh, what montana is capable she's only 20 years old 21 yeah, 21 yeah <coughs> we see that montana has a height advantage but uh, i've seen fights from uh, Gogin and She's moving very well. She's not uh, allowing her opponents to pressure. Yeah, I've never saw her fight, so uh, I'm curious. She's good with the uh, combinations and likes to move in and out. But I think that this is Montana's game, like in a clinch with knees to the bodies. Yeah, and to keep distance. N nice job from the the Spanish girls. She is moving inside and trying to go outside uh, without receiving any damage. But it will be difficult. Mon Montana is moving forward all the time. Yeah, she gives the pressure, so uh, maybe it helps her in the end of the fight with the the stamina of the opponent. Like the, the last fight of uh, Montana, she was doing very well with the, the clinch and I'm a little, little surprised that Elena Gogin is trying to uh, outperform her in this, in this particular area. Good, good work from Montana. She grabs the head and immediately, yeah, and good knee, yeah. immediately places the knee. Again, again. And this is a good rule set. Uh, it's it is very similar to what uh, you've been competing in K1 Max. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep action, keep busy. That's good. 
better for the audience to watch and yeah, more more action. And uh, right now, like they open up a little bit standing because uh, this this game in and with the knees is just good for Montana. Now Gogging is trying to to fight her on the outside, which is difficult because <laughs> Montana is the taller yeah. fighter. Yeah, he has more reach, I think. Yeah, she's taller. Oh, that was good actions. You have you have a lot of experience fighting a taller opponents. <laughs> yeah, what, yeah. What I do you, what do you think uh, the I Spanish prefer, girl? I prefer to uh, fight a taller opponent. But yeah, I think you have to come in. But now it's the one, uh, the Montana is the one who gives the pressure. So it will be difficult for her. Nice. F first round is over. I think that uh, this first round is for Montana. She, she yeah. plays a lot of knees in the clinch. I clinch. think she did uh, a bit more than the girl, than other girl. Yeah. But it's still, it's a close fight. So uh, it's a good matchup. So we, if you if you're in the corner of Elena Goggin, what advice will you give her? Yeah, I think because she's smaller, to to give more pressure and to try to come in with the box combinations inside. Because if you stay on the distance, then yeah, the reach will will win the fight. Yeah, Elena is trying to avoid uh, attacks of uh, Montana, but. After that, Montana just closes the distance and uh, grabs a clinch and continues with the knee. Yeah. Doesn't give her an opportunity to work on her counterattacks. Let's see if she uh, changes anything in her tactical approach. Again, the pressure from Montana. Montana is countering every kick of uh, her opponent. And she works more than the, than the Spanish girl. She starts and ends the combinations. And I think that's a re really good thing. And again, Every time Goggin trying to kick, Montana is countering her with two, three punches. And uh, she doesn't give her space, moving her in, uh, backwards and using the knees in the clinch. Yeah, she scores more. Look, she goes back, back. Yeah, if you are smaller, I don't think it's an option to go back. <laughs> yeah, she's moving side to side and yeah. this is not a good approach for her because she's slowly and step by step and second by second she's losing the fight but just being outscored. Yeah, yeah. And see Montana is growing in the fight now. And again, yeah, four good, punches, good, yeah, clinch, knees. knees. Yeah. And again, the Spanish girl is just relying on one kick or one punch. And it's, it's very difficult to fight this way with a taller opponent. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Both ladies prefer the clinch game, but I think that uh, Montana is more efficient Yeah. right now. And every time when she grabs, she also gives a knee, so every time she makes a point. Nice front kick. Oh, two good hooks. 
she's putting a lot of pressure and she makes the Spanish girl try to kick while while she goes backwards. It's yeah. not an ideal situation. No, no, her. no, no. Then the power is, uh, is disappeared. So now I, I think two rounds for, for Montana and Elena Golden yeah. has to do something dramatically right now. Yeah, it for sure. If she wants to win, she has to, to change her game. Again, we see and doubling Montana, up now yeah. on the kicks, but while going backwards is there's isn't no good for power her. in. Yeah. And Montana nah. does a good job. She she has very good right hook. Most of the South Pole guys they they prefer the left straight. But yeah. she's finishing her combinations and if her opponent stands on one place, she just proceeds with the clinch and with the knee. And she still looks fit, so we'll see what happens in the third round. Again, the pressure. Nice, nice, nice yeah. counters to the kicks. Right now we we see the story of this fight, like kick from the Spanish girl, then yes. Montana counters with two or three punches, then closes the distance and plays a, a knee. Again. We have two minutes left and Montana is still aggressive going forward. Yeah. And still going forward. obviously she can afford yeah, to, to just take the center of the ring and wait for her opponent to come, but she wants obviously she wants to make a statement. Yeah. Every time with the left hook she hits. Yeah. That does she very good. Again, the pressure, right hook. Nice. Left straight. Less than a minute in this fight, and I think that uh, Montana Arts yeah. is winning convincingly. Elena Gogin is trying to to turn the heat up, more volume from from her in the last minute, but still not as efficient as the Dutch girl. No, Nice high kick from the Spanish girl, but still pressure from Montana. And this fight is uh, over. It's done. The first fight is done. First fight is done. We're expecting the judge's decision. Elena Gogin showing that she thinks she's a victor. Let's see. Yeah. Nice combination. Yeah. Left straight, right hook, then immediately proceeds with the knee. In my opinion, uh, Montana has won. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the fight. Yeah. The
Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. The winner in the blue corner, Montana Arts from Netherlands. Yeah. As we already said, Montana Arts is the we winner. We see the same. Will be given by Sensei Nicolas Petas, K1 Japan Grand Prix champion, last Ushidesi Masuyama. Founder of Kyokushin and our my co-host tonight. And Mr. Petas will give her the prize. Oh, beautiful one. Yeah. Beautiful prize. Almost same size as Montana herself. <laughs> yeah. Open the belt. Yeah. But you are used to this kind of prices. You Only it's you upside down. Upside down, yeah. yeah. You were the first K1 Max tournament champion in 2002, 2002 I think. 2002, yeah, yeah. In 2002. And Japan is famous for big, 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 big yeah, 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 yeah. belts and prizes and this, all the cups. This prize is a sample of the, of the prize of Peter that he won also when, uh, when he won the K1 in, uh, uh, in Japan. And this is the copy of uh, Peter's uh, trophy. And I suppose you need an extra room to store all these trophies. Yeah, I have my trophies <laughs> on, on the gym, the big ones. Corners.